Hi, this is Malan Shalvi. In this episode, I'll show you how to swap the left and right stereo channels of an audio clip in LumaFusion. This tutorial is better experienced with headphones, so go ahead, pause the video and bring yours. Now that you're ready, consider the following workflow. Here is a chroma key video of a UFO flying from left to right and a suitable video to use as a background. To sell the effect, I also added a shadow to the UFO using the same chroma key video. I found a nice stereo sound effect where the audio moves from the left channel to the right channel, following the progression of the UFO on screen. Here it is all together. Now, it turns out that my project requires the UFO to move from right to left and not from left to right as it is doing right now. Swapping the video and the shadow so they move from right to left is easy to do. Follow along to see how. Now, the audio needs to be swapped as well, so it follows the movement of the UFO from right to left. In this tutorial, the video and audio are in separate tracks. If in your case they are together, triple tap on the video clip. This will separate the audio into a new track. So here's how you swap the left and right stereo channels. Start by editing the clip containing the sound effect. In the Audio tab, expand the Configuration section and change the value of the channel's setting from Stereo to Fill from Left. This means that now both the left and right channels will be filled with the sound from the left channel. Next, expand the Pan section and move the Pan value all the way to the right. this moment, the audio of the left channel will play on the right side. Now exit back to the timeline. Clone the clip containing the sound effect. Place it directly below its original and double tap to edit the cloned audio clip. Now let's reverse the settings so in this clip, the audio of the right channel plays on the left side. In the Audio tab, expand the Configuration section and change the channel's value from Fill from Left to Fill from Right. Next, expand the Pan section and move the Pan value all the way to the left. Exit to the timeline and we are done. Here's how the final result sounds with both audio clips playing together. As you can hear, the sound effect now matches the UFO movement from right to left. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.